Hey everyone, it's Monica here from My Big Camera. If you're new to our channel, we create helpful tutorials on portrait photography, so consider subscribing if you're an aspiring photographer. In this video, I will be making a super cute romper prop for sitter photo sessions that only cost me about $7 to make. This romper will fit 6 to 12 months, but you can size it down or up if you'd like to use it for younger or older babies. I got pretty much all of the supplies from Dollarama, which is the dollar store up here in Canada. But you can use whatever you find or whatever you have on hand. Okay, so let's get into the video. These are the supplies that you will need. One yard of fabric. I bought this roll of cute burlap fabric with a floral print from Dollarama for $3. Sewing pins. Three quarter inch crochet ribbon. I got this from Dollarama for $1.25. Three eighth inch crochet ribbon. Quarter inch elastic. This is also from the dollar store. Fabric scissors, pinking shears if you have them, and matching thread. You will also need the pattern, which I will have a link for you guys to download it for free in the description box below. Now let's get started. The first step is to print and cut out your pattern pieces. Then fold your fabric along the salvage and pin your pattern pieces along the fold. Since this roll is smaller than regular fabric, I just folded it vertically instead. It's a woven burlap fabric, so I don't think the salvage really matters in my case. I basically just chose which direction I wanted the pattern to go. Next, you would cut out your fabric pieces. Then you would take the front piece and back piece and place the right sides together and pin at the crotch. This next step is optional, but since my fabric frays really bad, I'm going to use pinking shears to trim the fabric. You can also use an overlock machine if you have one. I do not, unfortunately. Then sew the seam with half an inch seam allowance. I'm using a seam guide to help me make sure I have the correct seam width. Next, with the right sides together, pin together the side seams. Trim the edges with pinking shears. and then sew the side seams with a half inch seam allowance. Turn the romper right side out. Now for this next part, it's better if you have an overlock machine and can overlock the edges, but I don't. And so in order to prevent fraying, I'm going to hem them twice. Is there a term for this? I'm not really sure, but anyways, I'm basically just going to fold over the edge a little bit, hem it, and then fold it over again and hem it again. So for the leg holes, I'm basically just folding in the hem about a quarter inch around each of the leg holes and then I'm going to sew around each leg hole. Be careful when sewing this so that you don't accidentally sew the leg hole closed. It can be a bit tricky because the leg holes are so small so just make sure you're only sewing the top fabric and not accidentally catching any of the fabric underneath. Hopefully that makes sense. Next fold in the hem around the leg holes again about half an inch. This will become the casing for our elastic. Pin in place. So a 3 8 inch seam allowance around each leg hole leaving a 3 quarter inch opening at one end for the elastic. I usually like to do this by one of the side seams. This is probably the trickiest part to sew because of the double hemmed edges and the tight curves of the leg holes. It can be really hard to avoid getting puckers or gathers. 
Just do your best to go slowly while stretching the fabric and stopping to adjust the fabric as you go. If you end up with a couple of puckers, it's not a big deal because the elastic will be gathered the entire leg hole seam anyway. Here's the romper with the leg hole seams completed. You can see that I got a few gathers as well, but like I said, it's not going to matter in the end. So now we're going to thread the elastic through each of the leg hole casings. I like to use a bobby pin on the end as I find it really makes threading the elastic through a lot easier. I just sew the end of the elastic to make a loop so that the elastic doesn't slip out of the bobby pin while I'm threading it through. Once you have threaded the elastic through, pull both ends to gather the leg hole and then adjust the fabric so it's evenly gathered all the way around. Pin the two ends of the elastic together so you don't accidentally lose them in the casing. Then repeat for the other leg hole. Now sew the two ends of the elastic together and trim any excess. Then sew the opening in the seam close and repeat for the other leg hole. Here are the completed leg holes. You can see how stretchy they are now. The next step is to turn over the romper and then fold over the raw edge a quarter of an inch for the top and sides of the front piece and top of the back piece. Again, if you have an overlock machine, just use that instead. Sew the hem all along all the raw edges. Once you have all the edges hemmed, fold in the top back edge, that's the edge right above the butt, about half an inch. Pin in place. This is going to be the top part of the diaper cover portion and we will be creating a casing for elastic here as well. So a 3 8 inch seam allowance along the top back edge. Now thread some more elastic through the casing that you just made. And then pull the elastic and gather the fabric along the elastic evenly. Pin the elastics in place along the side seams so you don't lose the gathers that you just made. Now sew the elastic in place at the side seams. Here's the romper after the completed back seam. You can see how it stretches nicely at the top of the bum and the leg holes. The next step is to add any trim to the front of the romper. I will be adding this 3 quarter inch crochet ribbon along the top edge of the romper just to add a bit of detail. But you can really just get creative and add any trim that you'd like. I'm folding the ribbon over both sides of the edge then pinning it in place. Then just sew the ribbon to the romper. I didn't film me sewing this part but hopefully it's pretty straightforward. You just sew about 3 eighths of an inch away from the top edge along the top of the romper to secure the ribbon in place. Now cut two 14 inch pieces of the ribbon for your straps. I'll be using the 3 eighths inch ribbon for this. Place each strap in place along the top edge and fold over the side edge half an inch to encase it. Pin the straps in place. I like to pin the side edge at a bit of a diagonal so that you don't see the folded over crochet trim. Fold over the remaining side seams half an inch and pin in place. Mm -hmm. 
So 3 8 of an inch seams along both sides. These two straps tie behind the baby's neck like a halter. I like to tie knots on the edge of each strap to help prevent fraying. So that's it, that's the completed romper. Then all I did was just use some leftover fabric and the 3 8 inch crochet ribbon to make a cute matching tie back headband. Here are some photos that I did of my 7 month old modeling the romper. I just love the earthy tones of the fabric and the crochet ribbon. It looks so pretty and classic and I can't believe that I was able to make this for only $7. It only took a couple of hours to make two. You can probably make it for cheaper if you already have some of those supplies. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you'd like to see more tutorials like this or more dollar store challenges, let us know in the comments below. And for more prop DIYs, I will put a link to our playlist up in the cards. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up as it really helps out our channel. Also make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you are notified the next time we release another video. If you would like our free Photoshop actions for editing newborns, the link for that will be in the description box below. Thanks for watching and remember, keep creating!